Hi, welcome back to Self-Wired Happiness. My name is Kanini. Here at Self-Wired Happiness, we unlock the secret to a long, happy, and successful life. On our last video, we talked about why people have a tendency to get addicted. We get addicted because we have a pleasure-seeking part of our brain. If that pleasure-seeking part of our brain is not controlled, we will have a tendency to go all the way, get addicted, and probably die from our addiction. So that part of our brain has to be controlled. There is a part of our brain that can control this primitive part of our brain, and that is the prefrontal cortex. This part of our brain here, it's called the prefrontal cortex. It's involved in cognitive function. Cognitive function is your ability to see things clearly, reason, think, ask questions, plan, execute. That's your cognitive function. People who are more likely to relapse from a program or go all the way addicted and never stop are low on cognitive skills. They don't have an ability to think or see the consequences of their actions. I'll give you an example. I was listening to the radio host Host, Maina Kageni on Classic 105 in Kenya and this Kenyan woman calls him and tells him that her husband has been cheating on her for a long time and one time she asked him are you not afraid that you're gonna get HIV and he was like there's medicine we will just use medicine this person is not able to stop his behavior in the face of such negative consequences he got HIV and infected her I am not sure why she stayed with that kind of a person in the face of such negative consequences. I will never know. But when you refuse to change your behavior in the face of negative consequences, then you can say you're addicted to something. And we know that the people who are not able to reason and think are the ones likely to get addicted. Rehab facilities that help people with cognitive skills are more successful. Like AA helps you look at your life, how it's impacting other people and yourself. They help you go inside, talk to in a group program, talk about your problems, whatever issues you had in your childhood, how they probably led to you feeling the way you feel. And they help you work out that pain. And they help you also, you know, with skills about how you're gonna move on from there. They help you see life and how you can problem solve. They even pair you with a partner whom you can talk to and share and do things. So rehab programs that help people to enhance their cognitive skills seem to work best. And places that don't do that, look at the jail system. People are not taught meditation, they're not taught cognitive skills. Most people go back from the jail system and then return to the jail system because they didn't learn anything new. They were not able to be trained to overcome their more primitive impulses and start thinking and reasoning and they go back to the same old ways that give them the same outcomes. So the ability to think is number one. If somebody is not able to think, you cannot help them because that pleasure-seeking part of our brain is very, very powerful and you may not ever be able to help somebody like that. I know parents who have used more than $200,000 trying to help a child who is never ever gonna change. What is the best approach to deal with somebody who is addicted to drugs or something that you're trying to tell them that that lifestyle is not good for you can't you see that why are you keeping on this lifestyle how do you deal with people like that should you give them more money should you try to protect them or should you just let them go on our next video we're going to talk about how to deal with somebody who is extremely addicted to something thanks again for tuning in to self-wired happiness i love you Please like, subscribe and share and until next time, namaste.